I've got a question for President uh, Joe Biden. Those, um, those student loans you want to forgive, are you going to do that before or after those students chant, Death to America? Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You can't handle the truth! Oh, Hi, I'm Pastor Marty. This is the Afternoon Drive. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, and once you are, smack the bell, click the word all, that'll give you notification of my rants, my ravings, my undeniably flawless reasonings. Please like and share this video. That's how we get the word out that we're here, so give us a big thumbs up, and thank you so much for your support of the Afternoon Drive. We don't sell memberships here. I don't have any merch for sale. The way you help us get the word out by promoting the channel, let's get this thing growing and going. Thank you so much for being a part of the Afternoon Drive. Joe Rogan is not woke, but he is awake. And by that I mean he is looking around and he has, over the last couple of years, really begun to realize that what liberals are today is not the form of liberalism that he came up as. And as we watch these protests spread across the country, um, let me say as one who understands that uh, uh, as a Christian, of course, I support the nation of Israel. That does not mean that I support political Israel. Let me say that again. I support Israel, but I do not necessarily support political Israel. Just like I am an American, I love my country, I am proud to be an American. That does not mean that I am always proud of everything America does. It does not mean that I am always for every position that America takes. That said, when we now see college kids who initially were talking about, hey, you're killing civilians in Gaza. We have gone from that to them literally waving the flags of Hamas and chanting death to America. See, at that point, you've lost me. At that point, that's it. We're over. We're done with this little experiment. And all of you need to be rounded up and absolutely expelled off these campuses. And the fact that these academics are so weak they don't even know how to handle these students. They have been given warning after warning at Columbia University. Stop. They're ignoring it. And you've got the president out there talking about wanting to forgive student loan. And you've got guys like Joe Rogan, who were classic liberals, looking at all this saying, wait a minute, this is putting us on a path of self-destruction. Because of this thing that's going on right now, well, actually, I think this thing that's going on right now couldn't be going on right now without the influence of the internet. Right. The internet has like created this mind virus that's sweeping through college campuses and yeah, and also the universities and the Marxist philosophies that they've been pushing in universities because of the, they they've all been infiltrated by Russia, by the former Soviet Union, and now by China and Russia together. For sure, they're influencing all they 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 push the wokest teachers the wokest professors, the nuttiest policies. And they, they're literally doing it to deteriorate the fabric of American democracy. They, they, do, they have like plans for it. They've thought about it. Like Yuri Bezmenov talked about this in 1984. In I've seen interview. that clip. It's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. Ding, 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 ding. He gets it. He gets it. He gets it. The issue is we conservatives, we got it. We got it certainly before Joe Rogan did. The problem was we didn't act on it. What we did was we made fun of it. You go back 10 years. I go back even in my own audio library of my past radio shows when I was doing talk radio in Orlando, Florida. And myself, Rush Limbaugh, everybody, we, we made fun of the college snowflakes. Now, I did understand, and I had talked about this for years, that the hippies of the 1960s cut their hair, put a jacket and tie on, and went to work as teachers in America's schools and colleges. 
but we took a look at these snowflakes who had to have their safe spaces and 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 all of this pronoun nonsense and we looked at them and here was our fatal mistake we thought these people are are never going to go into society and be able to function on any level uh, they will just be at home and, you know, this was first when, you know, taking selfies and podcasting was just starting to become a thing and they'll kind of do that and, you know, they're, they're basically irrelevant. Well, Shazam Batman, we were wrong because they have filtered out into society. They have filtered into our media. They have filtered into our advertising. They have filtered into our schools and classrooms and they hold sway. They hold influence. This is why you're seeing Hollywood go woke. I mean, the latest action flick by the dude that plays Reacher on uh, Amazon Prime, you know, it debuted at fourth, $9 million, cost him like $60 million to... Well, gee, maybe if he wasn't out there running his mouth that the police get away with murder and basically that, that, they, that, that uh, uh, MAGA means maggot... Uh, you know, that's your audience. That's who you want to go see your movie. But apparently, that's not really what you're about. You want to play with guns. You want to play tough guy on the screen. But then you want to be a woke liberal off screen. And what conservatives are now doing is saying, you know what? We've had enough of this. We've had enough. I can promise you, if Robert De Niro were starting his movie career today, and even in some of his uh, most iconic roles, like Godfather 2, that really kind of launched him. It, Robert De Niro would be over before he ever got started because of his just absolute disdain and hatred for Donald Trump and anyone who thinks like that. Uh, uh, we just wouldn't put up with it. The only reason we, we don't really give Robert De Niro a, a super hard time is he's old, like Joe Obama Biden. Uh, he's definitely... In, in the past of his career, and, you know, I think the Irishman proved it. Uh, you can CGI him up, but he's still an old man, and that's just the reality of it. But if you were starting out today, conservatives, the bottom line is, if you're going to, you don't necessarily have to believe like us, but if you're going to mock and ridicule us and, and make us out to be the pariah and the stain that is what's wrong with America, we will not financially support you. We will not get behind that. So now we have these snowflakes that now they, 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 have, they have gotten into positions of influence, like the vice president of marketing for Bud Light, who decided to bring in Dylan Mulvaney. How'd that work out for Bud Light? Disney is about to go bankrupt. We're all praying that Elon Musk swoops in and saves the day with Disney, because all they turn out is just woke crapola. They've destroyed Snow White. You can't go to a Disney theme park now, and your four-year-old daughter could be exposed to a big, fat, hairy dude with a beard being told to your daughter that he's Sleeping Beauty. He's her fairy godmother. It's, it's just, it, it's over the top, and it is all about the purposeful destruction of America. This has been done on purpose. Now, Joe Rogan references, we have talked about this in the past on here, the Soviets, the Soviet Union, the real Marxist, I'm not talking about Vlad Putin. Vlad Putin is not a communist. Vlad Putin is an imperialist. Big difference. Vlad Putin likes a free market economy, and he likes money, and he wants his country to be number one. I'm talking about the old Soviet Union. I'm talking about... Uh, uh, Joseph Stalin. We're, we're talking about uh, 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 Brezhnev. We're, we're talking about the real dictatorial Soviet Union. They had a very long-term plan for the takedown of America. When uh, the Soviets use the phrase ideological subversion, what do they mean by it? Ideological subversion is, is the slow process which we call either ideological subversion or active measures, activne мероприятия in the language of, of the KGB, or psychological warfare. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent 
that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interest of defending themselves, their families, their community and their country. It's a great brainwashing uh, process which goes very slow and it's divided in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students without being challenged or counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism. And here we are. Black is white, up is down, in is out. I, I mean, anything normal. By the way, can I tell you that this long-term plan is working? You, 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 you don't understand as much as we're now trying to fight back on the culture war and on class war. The Bible, there I go again, bringing theology into this. The Bible spoke about this clearly. It said in the last days, evil will be called good, good will be called evil. Did you ever think that certain things that you see now as being touted as the new normal, and it's okay, and it's acceptable. Did you ever think in your lifetime you would see it? Did you ever think that there would really be a national debate over whether biological males could call themselves females and be allowed to compete against females, and that the President of the United States would step in and he would use legislation and the stroke of a pen to tell colleges and schools across the United States, yes, you will allow males access to, to girls' rooms, you will allow males access to female sports and their locker rooms. Wokeism, the snowflakes, they have gotten in their positions, and all of this has spread like cancer because of social media. And then think about when they locked us down during the planned scamdemic, and people got addicted to prescription drugs and porn and... You got the World Economic Forum out there. You don't need to own your own homes. Owning things is a burden. You'll just live in a home that we decide you need, and you'll have transportation that we provide for you, and you will eat what we provide for you, which, by the way, say goodbye to meat. We're going to crush bugs and give them a meat flavoring. You know, those of you who are normal thinking or listening to this thing, it, it can't get to that. It, it, it It's getting to that. This is where we are. And this was a plan. And even though it fell apart in Russia, it seems to now be taking hold here. So again, Mr. President, are you going to forgive the student loans of these college kids out there? Death to America! What am I asking you for? You can't even read a teleprompter, right, to get people to say, Four more years.